हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सेकंड लेक्चर ऑफ बायो फर्टिलाइजर्स वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड दी वैम नो लेट्स सी व्हाट इज वैम सो वैम स्टैंड्स फॉर द वेसिकुलर आरबेस्कुलर माइकोरिजा द टर्म माइकोरिजा वाज टेकन फ्रॉम द ग्रीक लैंग्वेज व्हिच मींस फंगस रूट एंड द टर्म वाज कॉइंड बाय फ्रैंक इन 1885 द माइकोरिजा इज अ म्यूचुअलिस्टिक एसोसिएशन बिटवीन फंगल माइसिले एंड प्लांट रूट्स सो व्हाट इज माइकोरिजा it is a mutualistic association between the fungal mycelia and plant roots vam is an endophytic mycorrhiza found by a septed phycomycetes fungi it is an endotrophic endotrophic means what which lives which lives inside the plant vam helps with nutrient transport <coughs> mainly phosphorus zinc and sulfur now this vam will help in the nutrient transfer of phosphorus zinc and sulfur Mycorrhiza is the symbiotic association between plant roots and oil fungus of the seven types of mycorrhiza. <clears throat> it plays a great role in the inducing plant growth. Now what it do? It helpful or it plays a very great role in the plant growth by providing the nutrition <clears throat> and other factors. It they are symbiotic endophytic soil fungi which colonize the roots of approximately 80%. the hype of vam help in retaining moisture around the root zone of plant this very important point they will help to maintain the moisture near to the root zone of plants it increases the resistance to root borne or soil borne pathogens of or nematodes it also increases the resistance to root borne and soil borne pathogens and nematodes now see next point is that they are also mobilize different nutrients like copper potassium aluminum manganese iron magnesium from the soil to the plant roots they possess vesicles like a sac like structures for storage of nutrients and arbuscular for funneling them into root system now we can see this figure now where um, we are going to observe that the mycorrhiza is going to inside the root system now let's see how they are going inside the root system the first layer is the epidermis layer where they form apressorium at entry point then from the epidermis they will enter inside the hypodermis where they will enter again in the cortex now in at cortex they will form the intracellular hypi from cortex they will come in near to the intracellular hypi in air channel and they form the arbuscular in two ways and here they will form the vesicle that's what the mycorrhiza will form vesicle and arbuscular inside the root system known as arbuscular vesicle mycorrhiza if you want to study the morphology then external hypi arbuscles and vesicle these three points are very important as far as morphology is concerned the mechanism of action the vam forms an association with the plant roots as we saw now it penetrates in the root cortex and spreads around the roots of the plant Uh, already i told you the vam will penetrates in, in the root uh, cortex and spreads around the roots of the plant as the name indicates that they possess sac like structures called the vesicles which stores the phosphorus and phospholipid now we have to remember these two points as far as icl is concerned that vesicles which stores the phosphorus and phospholipids the other structure is called arbuscle which helps in the bringing uh, the distant nutrients to the vesicles and root next point is the mass production of vam now we can do production of vam as a bio fertilizers now where what we have to do first we have to take vam spores then spores mixed with sterilized soil then soiled fill in pots host plant transplanted in pots kept 3 to 4 months in a greenhouse soil in the pot along with the roots of host plant is macerated dried till it attains 5% moisture and dried soil inoculates used for field application so in this way we can do the production of vam as a bio fertilizer now uses of vam first it enhances the feeding areas of the plant root is as the hypi spreads around the roots mobilizes the nutrients from distances to the root stores the nutrients such as phosphorus removes the toxic chemicals for example phenolics which otherwise hinder nutrient availability provide protection against other fungi and nematodes it increases the growth rate in plants such as citrus maize and wheat it reduces the sensitivity of crop towards high level of salts and metals 
so in this way vam is helpful to the plants or to the farmers to increase the plant yield or crop yield as a biofertilizer thanks a lot